Tom Hanneman, Kevin Lynch back on a Timberwolves fast break following a Wolves loss. Their sixth consecutive setback, this time to the Dallas Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki uh, turns back the clock a bit. A 29-point performance. He was terrific. Fourth leading scorer against the Wolves in their history and fourth player to move past the 1,200-point mark for the Timberwolves. One guy we have seen consistently over the last six games, all losses, unfortunately, but one guy who has been consistently good is Shabazz Muhammad. Well, he plays with a lot of energy, and I have a lot of respect for Shabazz because the Wolves don't run a lot of plays for him. They don't set up isolation opportunities for him to catch the ball and do what he wants. He pretty much has to get all of his action just through out of sheer hard work and activity and energy that he gives, and uh, they need him. He's an important piece coming off that bench to uh, try to provide a little offensive punch there. So tonight with the 16 points, he was terrific. Quick look at the final stats and the Timberwolves loss to Dallas. Sam Mitchell discussed the Wolves inexperience after the setback. Our mistakes are magnified because when we make them, other teams capitalize. You know, when we make them, if we don't get a loose ball, they get a three or a layup. Uh, if, if, if we don't get back in transition, it's a layup, you know. Uh, when we turn the ball over or we gamble defensively, you know, we give up wide open shots. So things that, that you'd like your team to do sometimes uh, take some chances. Uh, we just haven't learned how to recover and how to always help each other. Timberwolves get their first look at a couple of the other Western Conference opponents now. Starting Tuesday night as Oklahoma City comes to town, then back on the road immediately to take on the Rockets in Houston. The Thunder uh, hosting the Timberwolves on Friday. The schedule gets a lot tougher for this team, Kevin. Yeah, it does. I mean, you look at the schedule here uh, from Cleveland on Friday to today's game against Dallas and then this upcoming week. Uh, it's pretty brutal, but that's life in the Western Conference. Yeah. The Wolves are used to it, and uh, they got to get a win one of these days, and uh, it's not going to be easy here coming up in this next week. Hope you'll join us Tuesday night as the Timberwolves take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Wolves live at 630.